So this is Brewer Isaac. Hello, Brewer Isaac. Hi, everybody. Isaac is the one who made the Grapes of Rat IPA, and I'm gonna try it for the first time. I haven't had it yet. And you're gonna show me how to pour it correctly? Yep. Yeah? Okay. That's it. Let's do. I'm excited. So obviously, you have to open it first. <laughs> And then this is a bottle conditioned beer, basically meaning that you put a little bit of sugar in with the beer before you put it in the bottle, and then the yeast eat up the sugar, produce the carbonation. So it's a naturally carbonated beer, meaning that there's all sorts of little bits on the bottom that sink down there. Right. So the trick to pouring a naturally carbonated beer is that you gotta leave about a quarter inch in the bottom of the bottle and pour real gently so you don't get all the yeast bits in there. And even though it's hard to leave beer at the bottom, you definitely want to leave it because there's all kinds of junk down there. So this is the beer. We chose this glass in part just because it would look cool, but in part because it's gonna kind of focus the aromas up the top with the, the tulip shape of it. It increases the uh, aroma, which is part of, uh, yeah. part of the taste. So It smells really good. It's really Thanks. like floral and IPA-ish. Mm -hmm. Washington State hops, local hops, Cascade and Centennial in the Yakima Valley. Dude, that's killer. Good. Glad you like it. Wow. It's really hoppy, mm. and I like that. And it like um, florally and hoppy. I mean, what else? What else? I don't know what else to say about it exactly, except that I love it. Yeah, the goal was to get a lot of hop aroma and flavor without too much biting bitterness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's I could get really geeky about all the technicalities of that, but I'll I'll save you from it. You can get a little geeky. It's all right. Okay. Got a lot of geeks that listen. So there's uh, a component in, in hops called alpha acids, which is where you get bitterness. And as you boil beer, it breaks down the alpha acids, which the more they break down, the more bitter it gets. Now, there's some a part of the alpha acid called co cohumulon, which is what gives kind of the resiny bitterness, Okay. which uh, like stone brewing uses all kinds of hops that have tons of co cohumulon, which really just make it... Huh kind of dries out your mouth and just gets a nasty resiny yeah, yeah. aftertaste. Yeah. I, I kind of try and aim for less of that Yeah, totally. so that the flavor comes through more than just the harsh punch in the face bitterness. It's the bite of the hops, but there's it's kind of sweet mm -hmm. too, like flowery. Cheers. Yeah. And it's got to be balanced. Any good IPA is going to have a lot of sweet balance to get, get the hops taken care of. So we got something like 40 bottles of this thing. Very, very excited. What's that, Amber? Come, come show us the beer. Oh, how's this damage? That looks good. Tasty? I think so. Um, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, that's hardly, hardly enough. He did this all for free, and this hops cost money, like this all time, and... Thanks, dude. Yeah, no problem. Nicest guy. I like it. You gotta share it, though. Cheers. I will. <laughs>